Bismillah Rahman Rahim. First, uh, we'll revise the old dialogue. I need a lady who will practice this dialogue with me. Just raise your hand. Okay, Miss Fatu Bintu Kamala. Unmute yourself and you will practice this one with me. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Masmuki. Ismi Fatu Bintu Kamara. Kaifa? Masmuki Anta. Ismi Saad. Kaifa Haluki. Ana bi khayr wa alhamdulillah. Kaifa Haluki Anta? Haluka, I am male. Uh, ask me. Okay. Be walhamdulillah. Min aina anti? Ana min Gambia. Min aina anta? Ana min Pakistan. Min ayi Madina tin anti? Ana min eh, Bundung. Min Gambia. Okay. Ask me the same question. Min ayi Madina ti anta. Okay, min ayi Madina ti anta. Okay, ana min Islamabad. Ma jinsi yatuki. Ana Gambia. Ma jinsi yatuka anta. Ana Pakistani. Hazihi ukti saima. هي ربة البيت أو ربة المنزل. You welcome her. أهلا وسهلا. Now introduce your sister or brother. هذه هذا أخي محمد هو طالب. أهلا وسهلا. Aina Nazara. So let's suppose I am looking for my glasses. <clears throat> so I will ask you where are the glasses and you will hand them over to me, okay? Aina Nazara. Nazara is a feminine word, it has Tamar so Hazi he and Nazara, okay. Haltas Kunina fi bait Nam Askuni fil bait Askunu. You will say Askunu. Askunu. Okay. Now we will proceed to our Holy Quran class. If any lady has any question, she can ask me now. Okay, no question. Okay, last time we uh, read first uh, three, four ayats. So I need a lady who will just read them and tell me word by word meaning of these four ayat. Okay, Miss Salva wants to tell the word by word. Yes, Miss Salva. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillah, with the name of Allah, Ar-Rahman, most uh, beneficent, most merciful. Ar-Rahim means most merciful. Okay, Ar-Rahim, Al most merciful. So listen, what is the meaning of B? B means with. Correct. Or it also means in. Okay, next. Alhamdu, all praises, Lillahi, for Allah, Rabbi, Lord. Al-Alameen for all world. All universe, all whole universe, okay. What is the meaning of Li? Li for. Or it also means long. For. Correct. Long. Next. Ar-Rahmani, most beneficent. Ar-Rahim, most merciful. Okay. Maliki, king, 
yawm ad-din uh, day of the judgment okay day of judgment or day of recompense okay so now we'll start the next iyaka so ka mean your or you and when we add iya it gives the meaning of only iyaka only you iyaka only you na mean we na mean we na budu we worship so iyaka na budu only you we worship wa and iyaka only you nastain so na mean we nastain we ask help so you study about us is the famia later in the grammar so in which we ask something okay nastain we ask help iya kana budu wa iya kana stain we worship only you and we ask help only from you so muslim said this to allah that we worship only you and we ask help only from you then we have word ehdi it is an imperative word or an imperative verb which mean guide a d mean guide na mean us na mean us ihdina guide us ihdina guide us as sirat the path as sirat the path al mustaqim straight the straight so mustaqim in straight ihdina sirat al mustaqim guide us to the straight path so then muslim says to allah that guide us to the straight path so the question is what is the straight path the answer of this question is written in the next line sirat al lazina sirat mean path allazina those sirat allazina path of those an amta <coughs> ta mean you ta mean you an amta mean you blessed an amta mean you blessed an amta you blessed alayhim upon them so ala mean on him mean them ala mean or alay you can say in this uh, sentence alay on him them so path of those whom are blessed by you or path of those whom you have showered blessing on them you can translate in this way the path of those whom are blessed by you ghair nat ghair mean nut al maghzub you will study later about ismi maful inshallah maful mean the one who receives the action of the verb so maghzub mean head maghzub mean the one who receives the wrath the one who receives the wrath or anger <clears throat> so ghair al maghzubi not those whom have incurred your wrath alayhim again mean on them so ghairil maghdubi alayhim not those whom have received your wrath not those whom have incurred your wrath walad dalin wa mean and la mean not ad dalin mean astray ad dalin mean astray sirat al lazina an amta alayhim path of those whom are blessed by you or whom you have blessed path of those whom you have blessed ghair al maghzubi alayhim not those whom have incurred your wrath whom have received your wrath walad dalin and not those who are astray not those who are astray so if any sister has any question she can ask me assalam alaikum teacher 
Walaikum assalam. Yes, please. What do you mean, stray? Stray mean the one who has lost his way. Oh. Okay. So basically, okay. In Islam, we are we believe that we are just a traveler or passerby in this world. Our men, our destiny yeah. is paradise. So if anyone forgets his destination, then he is astray. If okay. anyone forgets his path, then he is astray. Anyone else? Who wants to ask question, just ask her after unmuting her microphone. Ms. Amina. And what's the mean of Magdub? Magdub. Magdub means the one who uh, receive the red. Okay. The red? Yes, red. The one who receives the anger. Oh, okay, the anger. Yeah, I can understand it that way. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. Anyone else? Miss Hartini, Miss Amina? Salamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as salam. Salamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as salam. Uh, could I ask about Malik? Is this okay. is this owner? Yes, Malik. I mean, heard king, but I'm not sure about king. Malik mean owner. Malik mean king. Both meaning are correct. Okay. Malik okay, mean king. Malik mean owner. So both meaning are correct. So if we hear Malik. Yes. What's the difference between Malik and Malik? Malik is more appropriate for the word honor or it is more appropriate for the word master. If we just say Malik or Malik, then it is more appropriate for the king. But all these translations for these word pronunciation are absolutely correct. Here we have the word Maliki. So the better translation is master, honor, honor of the day of judgment. Master of the day of judgment is better translation. But if anyone say king, then it is also okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Anyone else? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as uh, How about the word Ustaj Deen? What is the meaning of Deen? It is religion or uh, day? Maliki Yomid Deen. Okay. The word Deen, spellings are same, but pronunciations are a little different. Okay. Ah, oh, I see. So one, one word, the meaning of one Deen is a religion. One is debt and one is the day of reaccounting, day of recompense. So it depends on the pronunciation, mm. but here we we'll just say the day of recompense, which means the day of judgment. The same is spelling, Arabic spelling or? Yes, spellings are absolutely uh, same, but sometimes uh, we use different pronunciation. Mm. Inshallah, we we'll study those also. But Inshallah, the timing, the circle of time. Yes. Anyone else? <coughs> okay, now listen everyone. I have created a separate Google Classroom for the whole Holy Quran. I will send the link and the code in the WhatsApp group shortly. There you will uh, receive this one. And let me show you what will you see. I will show what students see. So when it will be better if you open this uh, new class in uh, on your laptop. So if you have a laptop, then use laptop for this purpose. So here you will open the Holy Quran class. Then you will click on the classwork. Then you will click on the homework number one. So here you will click view assignment. Then you will read this instruction 
you can write answer on pdf or you can write okay but the important thing is here so if you want to print this page then you can print this document and write the answer with your ball pen or pen if you want to write it directly on your notebook it's okay you can just write it on your notebook and send me the picture the but the thing i recommend is click on this document open it it will open like this and i have used a new form format here in which you can just write the answers here directly so you just type the answer here whatever you write it will be written here so once you have written your answers here <clears throat> once you have typed all you the meanings of these words you will click on this turn in you will just turn in and the homework will be submitted to me and i will be able to check it okay you will click on turn in so as you see it is now submitted so i recommend you to do this one but you can also print it or you can also write it on your notebook okay any question i think no question yes i have a question teacher yes i am using a phone so you you say the the one who is using laptop me i'm using my phone so even me i can do that yes you can try it on your mobile phone if you oh, have okay. laptop thank you teacher you're welcome okay next we have at tadrib salis third dialogue the baad dali sawal awal jawab hai mazmi likha kamaal hai sa المثال الطالب الاول هل تسكن في بيت do you live in a house الطالب الثاني لا اسكن في شقه no i live in a, an apartment so تسكن you live اسكن i live we are using kasra with bait and shaka because there is a preposition before them preposition gave them kasra so i need two students who will read this dialogue with you here miss hartini and miss yes. satya miss hartini you are first and miss satya you are second hal taskunu fi baitin la askunu fi shakati next yeah. oh what um how does kuno feel shakat shakat tin shakatin okay uh la askunu fi baiti okay how does kuno fi hayi 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 ya jamiat hayil jamia hayil jamia la askunu fi hayil hayil matar hal taskunu fi makka la askunu fil madina hal taskunu fi madina la askunu fi makka and remember that this taskunu is for male only which mean you live then natajibu rabi tabadal sawal wal jawab ma zameen ka kama fi misal exchange the question and answer with your colleague like the one in the example al misal الطالب الاول ماذا تريد لغرفه النوم what do you want for the bedroom الطالب الثاني يريد ستاره i want a curtain so in the previous question you read that preposition gives kasra to the next word so li is also a preposition li means for just like in the holy quran class we studied li 
same li here no difference li mean for belongs to it has all these meanings so li good for the no for the bedroom and li has given kasra to it then sitara is the object of the sentence an object of the sentence should have fatha that's why it has fatha here <clears throat> so i need two students raise your hand okay the two students are miss salwa and miss uh, amina assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam miss salwa you are first and miss amina you are second Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Mada turidu li urfatin nawm? Uridu sitaratan min fadlik. Mada turidu li almatbakh? Uridu thalajatan min fadlik. Mada turidu li alhamam? أريد سكانا من فضلك ماذا تريد لعرفة الجلوس أريد أريكة من فضلك نعم مس ماذا first and مس سلوى you are second okay yes ماذا تريد لغرفة لغرفة النوم لي غرفة النوم الألف لا مثال أنت ماذا أريد ماذا أريد أريد المسادة أريد سريرا the word here is سريرا okay سريرا ماذا تريد غرفة الجلوس لي غرفة الجلوس لي من فار Sorry, sorry. ماذا تريد لغرفة الجلوس؟ أريد سجادة. ماذا تريد للمطبخ؟ أريد ثلاجة وفرن. Okay, فرن. Okay. We'll continue the next page next time. Inshallah, if anyone has any questions, she can ask me now.